strategy for war. And because it knows the, you know that, that the, the you voters... Can, 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 can he finish I, the answer? I can, can read. I can read. And because it knows that the voters of the, of the Palestinian Authority do not want war, they have abated their colors. But, un, but they, have, they, they are what they are. And you know well, because you know them. You know Far better are. than you, sir. Right, it's exactly. To, to you, so, they are an academic interest. You've never met them. You've never been to Palestine. You've never been to the territories. You've never you, once had a chance to speak to a Palestinian you, 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 under occupation. You, you know what they stand for and what they intend. I know and what that they stand is, for. And that is the issue that is before this House, what they intend, what they intend to do to Israel but will not be able to, but what they genuinely intend for this whole region. What is the downside to sitting for a year and giving Hamas an opportunity to try to that's, bring some sanity to the killing fields? That's not what they're asking. Other than the fact that your theories would be rejected. They're asking for billions of dollars. No, they don't need money from the United States. Can we just let them finish, please? Moreover, the international community recognize Hamas would also mean recognizes Hamas's charter. I would remind this audience that when the international community rejected the white apartheid regime, it rejected the very fundamental values upon which the regime was based upon and built upon. Should the, should the international um, community accept the, the, the Arab the, League the, definition the, of, of the international community would be giving a legitimacy to a movement that does not represent only itself, but it represents a way and a view of thinking about Islam. The reality. Right. Okay, we have a lot of hands appearing in the audience. I want to take a question from the gentleman in the first row there. Dr. Fromm, uh, during, between 1992 and 1995, the United States and the international community accepted Slobodan Milosevic, who was responsible for about 200,000 people killed and slaughtered in, in the most brutal way. And he was accepted as a legitimate negotiator for the peace process in Balkans. And, and more than that, uh, uh, local butchers in Bosnia were also accepted as, as negotiators, like Ratko Mladic and uh, and Dr. Karadzic, and why couldn't the international community here also accept Hamas, who did much less evil? David, uh, thank you. I, I accept uh, your parallel, and I think that uh, they, I hope that, that uh, the leaders of Hamas will meet the same fate as, the, as Slobodan Milosevic and be hauled in front of an international war crimes tribunal and punished for their crimes. But that wasn't, that wasn't well, the question, was but it? That, but, the question, but the question ignores the actual story. The facts of the story are that uh, Slobodan Milosevic was treated as an enemy of humanity and, and but is now... But they did sit down and engage with him for a fairly long time, didn't they? Uh, they, uh, they... They ignored what happened in Bosnia. Engaged. It was only when Kosovo took place later that measures were taken against him. They, uh, there, was a, there, was, there was constant threat... They signed the Dayton Agreement with him, for there, heaven's but sake. But they're backed by constant threats of force and with no illusions about what he was. And maybe you may not like the speed and pace with which the United States and its friends went to war against Lebanon. Maybe the United... Uh, but I, I do not imagine that you are saying that the, United, that the end of the process should be that the United so States and the West goes to war against Hamas. Buy, as long as Sorry. we can buy a terrorist, it's okay. But if one is elected into office, it's not okay. So I, want to, I want to bring the questioner back in. Are you happy with the answer? I believe that your distinction between terrorism and non-terrorism, non-violence, lays basically in the fact that one terrorist group is institutionalized, institutionalized like, uh, like Serbia was, for example, and like Israel is. So Israel and Serbia were committing institutionalized crimes, and that, that is basically the only difference between them and Hamas. So why is it that we can accept institutionalized cri war crimes which bring much more human costs, and we can't accept well, one group which, tends to in uh, which wants to evolve in a political legitimate movement? Sorry, I, ac I accept your comparison of Slobodan Milosevic to Hamas. Obviously, the con uh, comparison to Israel is completely misplaced. Why? Um, because it, uh, Slo Slobodan Milosevic was engaged as Hamas, as Hamas to its charter is committed to. Both Milosevic engaged in genocidal acts, and Hamas, if it uh, has, is pledged to in genocidal acts, and if it ever has the power, will try to achieve them. The Israeli state is engaged, as all states under the United Nations Charter are allowed to do, the in the right of self-defense. The Israeli state has ignored defense. every single resolution of the United Nations since its exception, and, it, it and it the has, United States has vetoed every single one. Has, okay. The position you argue for is if we can control people on the ground, they're good, okay. and if we can't, we can't recognize Okay, them. let them answer that. If you, if you want to come back on this. I, I, well, I, think, I think that point um, is, is the point at which you see the ultimate danger of the argument that the uh, proponents of this motion are making. That, that what they are calling for, that, that, that in order to uphold this motion, you have to agree with the Hamas view of the Middle East, which is one that calls for the destruction of Israel. That is, that is what you are being asked 
to support and to vote for today by the proponents of this motion. No, you're okay, being asked to vote okay, for okay, war, Mahmoud, you're being asked to vote for genocide, and you're being asked to vote for a war which will drag you in. No, Mahmoud, I, I, Mahmoud, think, please. I think with all due respect, I think that is a misrepresentation of the facts of the matter. I think you said earlier that Hamas was looking for legitimation. It is not. Hamas is, has already gained electoral legitimacy. And it, either elections mean something or they don't. You cannot choose your enemy and you cannot decide for the people and not respect their decision. This is one matter. The other aspect of it is that unilateralism did not work with the PA. So there are certainly no chances that it's going to work with Hamas. Finally, I think that Hamas must be represented as what they are, namely clean cut, modern oriented technocrats of the likes that we've seen with the 15 or so They're women killers. that were fielded in the elections, people that, are, the people that are doing social services that are working and gain legitimacy in the community. There is a military wing which you mentioned. That is the case with any uh, you, in, you independence movement. No sir, sir, if I may, Before uh, Israeli... you, you, do have, you do have these movements that are multifaceted but cohesive, which in fact allows for continuity within the movement as opposed to what we've seen with Fatah, which is fundamentally corruption and a, and, 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 and a puppet regime.